everyone welcome back in this session i am going to discussing about clocks problems in the last sessions we have discussed about the concept of clocks now in this session we are going to discussing about problems related to clocks let's see the first question in this session see here a clock is started at noon noon is nothing but 12 pm that is afternoon afternoon 12 pm by 10 minutes past 5 10 minutes past 5 is nothing but uh, here the time becomes uh, 5 10 5 10 5 10 pm the hours hand has turned through hours hand turned through here the clock is started at 12 pm and uh, by five, uh, 10 minutes past 5 some people may think that 10 minutes past 5 in the sense they will take it as a 4.50 pm but uh, this one is strong way of thinking. 10 minutes past 5 it means uh, that is a uh, 5.10 and the hours hand is turned through. We have to find the degrees. How many degrees covered by hours hand from 12 pm to 5.10 pm. First of all, uh, we know that uh, from 10 p.m. to 5.10 p.m. total time is equal to. What is the total time at this point? Total time is equal to 5 hours 10 minutes. 5 hours 10 minutes. The time gap between 12 p.m. and 5.10 which is nothing but 5 hours 10 minutes. Now, we know that our sun covers 30 degrees for every one hour whereas uh, half degree for every one minute half degree for every one minute now the total number of degrees it turned total number of degrees is nothing but uh, here it is uh, five hours one hour is equal to 30 degrees then five hours is nothing but five into 30 plus 10 minutes one minute is equal to half degree then 10 minutes is equal to 10 into half. Now here it is uh, 5 and here it is uh, 150. 5 into 30, 150 plus 5. 150 plus 5 which is equal to 155 degrees. Therefore, our hand, ours hand will turn through 155 degrees. Option C is the right answer for this question. Option C, very simple. That is the reason why I already told you if you know these three things uh, regarding hours hand and also minutes hand, uh, then it is very easy to get the answers uh, without any uh, much difficulty. Okay. Let's go for next question. See here. An accurate clock shows at 8 o'clock in the morning. So, here the time is showing it is uh, 8 a.m. Through how many degrees? Through how many degrees will the hours hand rotate? Here we need to find number of degrees. How many degrees will the hours hand? Hours hand rotate when the clock shows 2 o'clock in the afternoon. 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the sense that is 2 p.m. Here it is morning 8 a.m. and this is afternoon 2 p.m. It means total time gap between these two here 8 am to 2 pm which is equal to total 6 hours total 6 hours we know that hours hand will cover hours hand will cover 30 degrees for every one hour for every one hour 30 degrees we want to find the uh, angle we want to find the angle from 8 o'clock, morning 8 o'clock to afternoon 2 p.m. Afternoon 2 p.m. Then total time period is 6 hours. Uh, if 1 hour is equal to 30 degrees, then obviously 6 hours is equal to 6 into 30, which is equal to 180 degrees. Uh, 180 degrees is the angle covered by, angle covered by hours hand in this duration. Total duration is 6 hours and each hour, hours hand will cover 30 degrees. Therefore, in 6 hours, 6 into 30, 180 degrees. Option D is the right answer. Option D. Let's move on to the next question. See here, at 
840 at 840 here the time is showing that 840 the hour hand and minute hand of a clock form an angle of here hour hand and minute hand it means that we need to find the difference between what is the angle between hour hand and minute hand in order to solve these kind of problems in order to solve these kind of problems uh, in some cases uh, in some textbooks or else in some uh, videos uh, they will use uh, formulas uh, here there is no need of requiring uh, using uh, formulas i will explain the problem without using the formula here the time period is given as uh, 840 time period is given as 840 first of all exactly at 8 o'clock exactly 8 o'clock uh, minute hand is at 12 position 12th position exactly at 8 o'clock and uh, still 8 hours and remaining 40 minutes we have to divide uh, in two parts one is 8 hours and second one is 40 minutes in 8 hours hours hand will cover in 8 hour duration hours hand will cover 8 into 30 degrees for each and every one hour for each and every one hour our sand will cover 30 degrees so 8 into 30 whereas coming to minute sand this is 0 degrees why because uh, at 8 o'clock uh, uh, minute sand is exactly at 12 minute sand is exactly at 12 so it doesn't start from 8 o'clock uh, so that angle is 0 uh, degrees uh, now coming to 40 minutes uh, we know that uh, regarding our sand uh, our sand will cover half degree for every 1 minute half degree for every 1 minute likewise 40 minutes are there 40 into half degree whereas coming to minutes hand in 40 minutes of duration for every 1 minute minute hand will take uh, will cover 6 degrees in 40 minutes 40 into 6 degrees now you can take this value here it is uh, 8 into 30 8 into 30 which is equal to 240 plus here you can cancel with this uh, two table plus 20 which is equal to 260 total angle covered by our sand that is 260 whereas coming to minute sand 0 plus 40 into 6 that is 240 which is equal to 240 now you have to take the angle between minute sand and our sand which is nothing but difference between those two 260 and 240 here the difference between those two is uh, 20 degrees here the difference between those two is 20 degrees option a is the right answer for this question i hope you enjoy the session thank you thank you very much for watching